So this little mistake or I guess habit that I did over the last 48 hours has made me over $2,000. And in this video, I kind of want to go over it and explain it um, and let you guys know exactly what we're holding. I'm bringing down the percentages of every single holding that I have that I'm going to be going over in this video and how exactly it made me $2,000 in the last two days. Um, I want to say thank you guys so much for all the support, man. Lately, you guys have been absolutely crushing it, dude. If you guys are new around here or whatever, make sure you drop a like, dude. I, I Like the last video, it did the best out of any video I've uploaded in months. And I just want to say thank you at the start of this video. So as I said, we're going to be going over the exact balances. As you guys know, I recently made a video saying that I was selling everything to double down in real estate. And that is actually a thing. I am in contract for a home. I'll put a little picture of it. it, it it's a really good deal. I'll go over it, analyzing the deal when I do the actual house video once we close on the house. So because of that, I'm happy to sell all my crypto and stocks etc i said in that video and i fully did plan on selling everything at that exact moment but i didn't and there was a reason why and uh i'm really getting consistent we're going to be posting something every single day on this channel uh whether it's a video or a short or whatever and i just appreciate all the support that you guys have given me so thank you so much so some of you guys are probably wondering how do i have a stock or crypto portfolio that's making you know two thousand dollars in two days on the amount of money i have here's a picture right now here of, of my crypto portfolio as you you guys will see it's up to 14.7 thousand here's what it was two days ago i think it was like 13.6 or something like that so 1.1k in literally 48 hours which is pretty insane i want to go over that portfolio really quickly so in that specific portfolio i have multiple crypto holdings but at this specific one that we're going to be selling off i have 33 percent one now keep in mind these numbers of uh, how much i've been invested into like actually money invested into are very different because one has been absolutely banging like i think in the last two days it's up like 30 percent or something like that so 30 33% one, I have 22% ADA, I have 17% Soul, we have 13% Ethereum, 7% GRT, 5% Link, and then 1% Matic, and 1% BNB. Very little holdings on them too, but I, I figured I would throw it in because I do think they're they're not bad investments. So that's kind of my crypto portfolio in that. Um, I obviously have Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, I have some Litecoin and other coins like that in different holding things, but this is like my staking account that I've just recently started, uh, the one that I've been playing with and that, that, that I do plan on selling for this house. And when I made the video, I really thought there was like an instant crash that was coming. And I still do think there is going to be a pullback. As you guys know, any healthy market in any crypto and any stock, whatever, it's not straight up, right? Like when you have a big pull, like, like I just said, one is up like 30% in the last two days. It means that it's probably going to balance out, steady out for a bit. Even if it's a week or two weeks or whatever, there might be a come down, right? Anything that goes up very quickly, it has a point where it comes down. That's my point. And you learn that over the years doing these bull markets, because even though if you look at the graph over the course of a year, it looks like it's like straight up, right? There was definitely weeks or months at a time where it was kind of down or stagnant or whatever. And that's something to really, really think about. I ended up not selling. I ended up deciding I'm going to hold this for another week and see what happens uh, because I seen that stocks, which we're going to go into my stock portfolio here in just a second, were having a very good week. You know, I had a day on stocks where we gained 2% a day, which on stocks is really, really, really good on mutual funds. So when you see bullish patterns like that, it kind of makes you think like, uh, you know, because normally crypto and stocks, they all kind of flow in the same way. Like if one is going up, normally the other is going up and vice versa. So let's go over to the stock portfolio. As you guys know, I was talking about in the video like, man, I really wanted to hit 50,000 on the stock portfolio. I'm really not wanting to sell this. And I think at the time of recording, I was at like 49,200. Correct me if I'm wrong. That's probably right there. But now it's up over 50,000, uh, over a thousand dollar gainer once again uh, in just two short days. Like I said, we had these 2% days just coming in, just absolutely boosting it up. And uh, for stocks, I mean, that's something that's really, really not expected. You don't really look to see that in a stock market, but I will go over the holdings that we have for the stocks. So we have Fizrox at 10%. That is the total money market. Uh, so essentially it's just the whole entire market as a whole. We have 10% of that. Uh, then we have FNILX, which FNILX is the large cap index fund uh, for Fidelity. We have 10% of that as well. And then we have 30% of FGILX, which is the Fidelity Global Fund, uh, which is kind of my form. Like everyone says that you should invest uh, some percent to forward markets, which I do agree. They typically don't perform as high, but that's why I like the global market because it's not just forward markets. It's like the whole world. Uh, so you still do, you know, you get basically everywhere essentially. So that, that's kind of how my portfolio in stocks is. And to gain on this amount of money to gain, you know, like I said, over a thousand dollars in two days is pretty, pretty awesome. So I wanted to just kind of go over this, put this out on a video and show you guys exactly what I was talking about. But yeah, uh, crazy gain 
Um, obviously, I'm still buying this house. I still have to sell all of these assets to buy this property that we're talking about. And I can't wait to show you guys in a video and show you guys the plans with all of it. I'm really gonna take you guys on journeys and show you the houses. Them videos are all coming up, but I thought it was really cool because obviously, you know, the money is really tight when you're trying to close on a house and it's a lot of stress and stuff, but to gain 2000 in such a short time, absolutely amazing so can't uh thank the markets enough i guess i should say but yeah them, them are all the holdings that i have in that um once again guys i just really want to say thank you for all the love on the videos man i know that i've been inconsistent uh, if you've been watching for a while i've been very inconsistent with the videos and the uploads and, and the schedule and, and things of that nature uh but now i've started working with a partner on this channel i'm going to be very very consistent with exactly when i upload making sure i get content every day making sure i'm pushing the barrier for how the content can do and i really want to try to get this channel monetized i really want to try to push to greatness so i can continue to share like if i you know can get this monetized then obviously it shows there's an audience for this it shows that you guys want to listen uh and learn alongside me and uh you know i want to bring the camera with me everywhere i go i want to show you guys the houses and all the journeys eventually apartment buildings etc like all the stuff that i'm learning i want you guys to learn alongside with me i don't think doing these videos that i'm like the most well-spoken investor and i know everything in the world that's absolutely not what the case is but if you look at a lot of the people that are very very successful that do these types of videos on youtube a lot of them are older i would say the younger ones are in like their mid 30s and then the old ones you know you have in your 60s even 70s 80s so i think having this journey you know when i'm very young and showing you guys the progress that I'm making uh, throughout, uh, you know, day to day or week to week or month to month and, and documenting that here on this channel, I think is going to be some cool for all of us to look back on. So I hope you guys can appreciate that. But I don't know. Let me know how the markets are doing for you guys. I mean, some of you guys are probably in these markets and some of you guys are probably killing it the same way that I am, you know? So yeah, me basically just setting and holding on for another couple of days and seeing these green days has kind of motivated me to, to let this ride another week and see kind of what we get into, right? I think at the worst case, I could get back out, which with what I I originally said uh, but at the best case we might make another couple thousand so I'll, I'll put an update on it uh, when i do actually sell i'll go through and make a video showing the sales so you guys know that, that you know i'm not just talking about it it's something i'm actually going to do but i thought i would make this a video just to follow up on it and kind of show you guys exactly what we were talking about thank you all for the support of the channel man i really really do appreciate it and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day also quick side note i know that i said i would have professional lighting professional mic and the next video would be not on a pleb setup i mean as you can see the background and everything's way more professional but i still am using this shitty microphone don't have the lighting how it should be and all that um it's because there's like this uh like there's a ledge on this desk about that big so the clamping for my lights and for my microphone stand it won't clamp on this desk um so i have to get a new desk and kind of reset up everything so give me a little bit of time on that but uh i'll keep you guys updated i'll keep you guys posted with everything going on thank you for the support once again make sure you like subscribe turn the noties on and i'll see you tomorrow with another video